I absolutely love it when catasetinae do this for a short period of time, seeing the new roots grow. Oh, I love these orchids so much. This is my Jack of Diamonds. Thank you for joining me on a quick update of my catasetinae. I have not done a video on my catasetinae for a while now because there's not really that much to see until now. I appreciate your time. I don't have many big ones. I have a few other ones, but they belong into another kind of collection within a collection, and that's why they're not going to be featured here today. But this is my Jack of Diamonds, self-watering with Lekka. And finally, we're going to see some roots going into the pot. I never repot my catasetinae, so this has been in here for about two years now, maybe three. No, going on three years. Yeah, we're now in the third year. And you can see how it's starting to speckle because of all that gooey, gooey, happy sap, which I cannot at this point shower off because it's not time to water yet. So that combined with the dry heat, air, flow and everything going on results in these spots. But never mind. Oh, don't touch the leaves. They are sticky and sweet. But never mind, it's doing really well. Now, it's doing so well because I never let my reservoir go completely dry, even when in dormancy, my microfibers stay moist. Even if in dormancy, I don't have water in the reservoir. But as you can see, now the reservoir is pretty full because earlier on in the season, my old roots extended into the reservoir. These are not new roots. These happened about March, April. And I thought, yeah, okay, you're active below the surface, even though I can't see anything happening above the surface. And that is why I don't repot every year and I don't cut the roots off every year. And I maintain the root health throughout their quote unquote dormancy. Next one I've got, and this is a good little update. This is my Jumbo Mickey here. Remember the one with all the new growths that failed because I was a bit radical. I didn't recognize where the orchid was in relation to where my sprayer was hitting. So I lost three new growths. One new growth was in the middle here that I lost. Can you believe it? It tried a second new growth right in the middle here. I lost that as well. But look at what's going on now. One, two, three, there's one tiny one tucked in there still, four new growths on my Jumbo Mickey. This orchid obviously is very vigorous. You see how many bulbs it has. Last year, I got three growths out of it. So this is the ones that came with, but I got three growths out of it. And it leaves me to think, what if I had not lost the other growths? Would I have now had seven in total for one year? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Bounce back very, very quickly. New growth shot out despite the ones it lost. Also, the reservoir is never empty anymore. I don't have any roots growing underneath, but that's okay. I mean, you know, they will come eventually. I can't really see much. Uh, there's a bit of root action going on there in the crevices. But again, this microfiber stays wet. There's water in the reservoir, even though it is only just coming out of dormancy. So I go a little bit against the grain of the rules of growing catasetinae. I don't let my leka go completely dry in their dormant period. Not too shabby, holding on nicely. Here is the root action of my Fred Clark Yara After Dark, Black Pearl. Eh, still not know exactly knowing where they should be heading. I don't like the idea of them going up, but oh well. Eventually, some will find their way down into the pot. Already quite heavy, but that is also because the reservoir on this one is even fuller than the other ones. So basically, the spot is already submerged on top of the water despite the fact that I shouldn't be watering at this stage, as they say, because of the size of the growths, the length of the roots not being there or thereabouts ready for watering. And yet 
my pots are wet. I water them from below only. There is no flushing or anything, but all the old roots are getting maintained and sustained and the water is being absorbed. And that proves to me that the orchid is already absorbing water, even though the new roots are not ready by no means to be watered. But the rest of the orchid inside the pot is already absorbing water. I have to fill that reservoir twice a week already. And it's doing really well. This year I've got two growths. That's nice to get a lead coming out the back here. I'm pleased about that. And the main lead in the front here starting to look really, really majestic. Also masses, masses of happy sap, as you can see. Oh, I am so tempted to shower this because there's something to be said about beautiful, lush and clean leaves. But this would be the wrong time to even administer water. Again, it is not the time to be showering because of the size of the growth, no matter what I'm doing with the reservoir. So no water is going on this orchid just yet. And you can see it's absolutely dripping. And with the hot air and dry wind starts to crystallize. I'm hoping two or three more weeks of this and then I can start showering the leaves. The damage will have been done. The blemishes will have already, you know, taken their hold for the leaves of the season, but it's not a problem. The only thing is, I love, I have to say the only thing is that this is just, it looks gross, but it means a lot to me because the orchid is taking up water and getting hydrated. And thankfully I have plenty of dry air around me and that's pretty much why I do what I do. Otherwise these bulbs would shrivel too fast for the new growth to actually get going into something of a size and I would be losing a lot of the back bulbs much, much quicker. So yeah, my water reservoirs, I never leave the microfiber dry. I haven't repotted in two years. This is my third year with the orchids in the same pot and they're already absorbing the reservoir using their old roots. And we saw that some of the old roots have already extended into the pot. And yes, that was from this season and not last season. And I pointed that out because that also surprised me. Quick update on these three. They're going to be growing fast and furiously. Fertilizer will be added probably in about a month's time. And I know that's weird because we are now at the end of June, beginning of July, and I still haven't applied fertilizer. My rhythm here, even though I'm in Southern Spain, hot and all the favorable conditions, you would think I'd be ahead of the game. No, nope. I'm always behind with my orchids. And when others go dormant, mine are still filling out and the bulbs are still fattening up. And that's exactly what it's going to be like this year. We might be running a little bit late of the normal game, but we're going to have hopefully the same results and then some blooms a little bit further down the line. I appreciate your time very much. If you have any questions, if I didn't circle back around, especially with regards to my watering, which is totally contradictory of what the general care for catacetinae suggests and recommends, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be very happy to elaborate. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.